All right, Darren, you're going to hear from the 2022 NCAA Division III Baseball Championships following Game 7 here with three members of the Baldwin Wiles University baseball team following a 6-5 defeat to Trinity University here with Alex Ludwig, head coach Brian Harrison, and Drew Wilson. Thank you three for taking time after the game to join us. Uh, head coach, why don't we just start out with you, Coach Harrison, just, just talk a little bit about how the game went and, uh, and kind of how you saw things tonight. A fun game. Really fun game. Could have gone either way. <clears throat> you know, their guys came out of the bullpen and did a really good job. It's a really good team, well-coached team. And um, they just made a few more plays than we did. But, um, you know, I thought it was a great game. Loved the way we competed uh, for nine innings and just didn't go our way today. Opening uh, questions for media. Yeah, great question. Sorry, that's my cue, right? <laughs> Um, Drew, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this kind of game where it needed a little bit of everything, right? And obviously, you know, um, you hit, you position field, you pitch. Um, what's it like doing that on a stage like this one? Just thankful for the opportunity. Um, just blessed that my coaches believe in me enough to, to put me in the lineup and to put me in the right field and to pitch me. and. I just want to play my best for my coaches and just do whatever I can for my teammates. So I'm very lucky and I'm very thankful. For for you or for Alex or for both, comment on it. Um, you, you guys had some success, uh, success with them early, first couple of times through the order, and then you know down the stretch, not so much. And they brought in the they brought in the guy who pitched the last three and two thirds innings. What was different? What did you see differently in the first half of the game compared to the last half? Uh, honestly, didn't see a difference. Uh, you know, just hit the ball if it goes over the white thing. You know, um, some things went our way, some things didn't go our way. Um, I mean, that's just baseball. That's that's the game. You know. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, nothing was nothing was different. Nothing changed. Uh, just didn't get a, get our best swings off. I guess uh, it's kind of how baseball is. A lot of things you can regret. Go back and look at it and say, oh, I could have swung at that. It could have hit it hard, but it just didn't go our way. Coach, I mean, you you pulled a couple of pulled a couple of strings, changed some things up. Didn't uh, didn't quite have the results you wanted. That's part of baseball, <clears throat> part of the game. You know, baseball's you know it, it's it's a tough game. It's a tough game, right? It's a game of failure. Um, it's a game of inches, right? So, so you know, maybe a fair ball, foul ball lands fair, and, and and a rally goes. I thought we hit some some really hard balls at people early in the game, and and just we had a lot of opportunities that first five innings, and we just left. I don't know how many guys we left on base, but uh, felt like we left a lot of guys on base. And, and then the Duro kid came in, and his curveball is pretty good. He throws a hard curveball. I think that was it. That was the difference is, is his curveball. He was throwing hard tonight and his curveball, he was locating. So I think the second half of the game, we just couldn't get many good swings off of him. Right. There were consecutive innings, I think, in the like the fourth and fifth. I think maybe you left the bases loaded two innings in a row and maybe runners on second and third in the second or third, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we had opportunities. Just didn't get the big hit. Had a couple of atom balls. Um, that's the way baseball goes. I think it for anybody up here just a, a chance to kind of reflect on the the ride this season you know uh coming out as a at-large team uh you know winning the regional winning the supers and then getting here to the college world series general thoughts yeah um uh, very proud of this group um you know i uh, just me personally i wanted to go out with a bang and you know i made it my goal was to make it to the world series with this team and Battled a lot of adversity this year, and we overcame it. And I'm just so proud of everybody on our team for just being good dudes, just being great teammates. Um, you know, playing playing for each other, and we did a pretty good job at that uh, down the stretch. And uh, I couldn't be more thankful for our baseball program. Uh, almost was amazing. Sure. I don't think I could say any better than Lud. Uh, I'm unbelievably proud of my teammates. Uh, I'm proud of Lud, the leadership he's shown and the work he's put in. It's just been something that all the team follows. Um, I'm unbelievably proud of these guys. And Coach, talk about Yellow Jackets baseball. Um, 
you know, we've had a coach here who's been coaching for 30 some odd years, making his first trip. You've had what, what, somewhere between 10 and 20 and maybe 15. So, and what, second trip here. So tell us what making a return to the World Series, just what does it do for your program? Oh, it's great. You know, I think it's great momentum, obviously for recruiting and for our alumni base. You know, I've said this all along. I was, I, I'm so grateful to take over. Not many guys get an opportunity to take over a great program. I took over a great program from a coach that was there for 42 years. Um, I, I'm proud of what we've done uh, in the 12 years there, including two World Series appearances like you're talking about. But more proud about if you just listen to these two young men talk they're talking about being grateful and how they care about their teammates right i'm more i'm more proud about the culture that we've built um and in in the type of young men we've developed in our program i'd like to think i'm a little bit of a piece of that but the reality is it's a great effort from our assistant coaches to our administrators um to our support staff and then and then as these kids grow up I remember recruiting him, you know, five years ago, and now, you know, he's a grown man and uh, talking about being great teammates. So I love these guys. Uh, I'm hurting for them, uh, but I'm so I'm so grateful they're a part of my life. They've made me a better person. Any other questions here for Baldwin Wallace? Right, well, we appreciate you three joining us, um, class acts all the way through for the entire time that you guys have been here. Um, wish you guys nothing but the best of luck going forward to you, Alex, Drew, and Coach Harrison. Thanks for coming. This isn't easy. Um, and uh, like we said, just uh, really thankful that you guys were able to be here and uh, best of luck going forward. Thanks again. Yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you.